What's up everybody, welcome back. I'm Abe, this is Eve Online, and we are talking more about mining. And initially we talked about picking which ore we were going to, uh, which ore is worth more, which ore we should be mining. And now let's talk about both reprocessing and sort of how to value that ore once you've got it, what to do with it, right? So I'm in loose, I jumped once away from the noob system, and you can see now in this, in this belt, uh, if we hold down shift and drag, you can, you know, sort of see everything up here. There are a ton of different asteroids, and not just asteroids, but there's also different ores. So here we've got some plagioclase, scordite, veldspar. Uh, it looks like there's a little bit of dense, uh, there's one dense veldspar. There's the equivalent of scordite, the plus 10%. There are a bunch of those, but scordite's pretty low value. At any rate, we've got a full ore hold. And what do we do with that now? So <clears throat> I was at, let's see, I double checked. I had to jump around and look, and I'm not sure that there's a better way to find that. If you know of a better way, please tell me and share with the rest of the class because going and jumping and just docking at stations and checking for compression and or reprocessing seems really stupid. So, um, so at the Raitaru, I docked here and I was able to, they have some services there worth worth looking at. So generally speaking, this is 5,000 cubic meters of ore. It's all a volumetric concern, right? So if you think about when you're moving your own stuff around from one system to another, uh, from where you mine to where you're going to sell it, you need to be aware of like how difficult it's going to be. So if you don't just if you just drop this into your item hanger, it's it's going to be really hard to ship around. So one way, and all right, let's look. So the value is estimated at six hundred fifty-two thousand. Now, is that exactly what you're going to get? Probably not. But let's just use that as a point of comparison. So they're saying thirteen isk per unit of veldspar. So all right. So what I can do, <clears throat> first off, let's just look at reprocessing. First off, this shows you that 50% uh, at this station you get, like I don't have any reprocessing skills on this character. This is not something that I've skilled into. On one of my other characters I've got a few, but nothing really to write home about. And to be frank, I don't really write home to my parents about what I do in this game, so we'll just leave it there. But uh, resource processing. Uh, I'm an alpha character, so I've got limited, uh, you're, you're gonna get bonuses from reprocessing reprocessing efficiency and then if you want to reprocess a specific reprocess a specific type of ore there's a there's usually a skill for just that so this is for veldspar reprocessing and that adds two percent for each so if you hover over this it'll tell you where you're getting your bonuses from so in this case this station doesn't add very much I get a 50 percent base yield I don't have any skills that add to that and so I'm just gonna get 50 percent of the ore or 50 percent of the minerals that I would Right, and so you can see the value of the ore before you process it over here on the left and compare it to the value of the minerals that you're getting out of it on the right. And you notice that this is a higher number than this. So that tells me, and it should tell you, <coughs> that it's, more, it's worth more to you to sell this than to try to reprocess it and then sell the minerals separately, right? So if you were in a better station, I think you could get up to 54%. Um, just from the station alone if you had a bunch of extra skills you might be able to get up to 75 or even 80 percent I think um, in reprocessing and you know once you get your skills up then this number starts getting higher than this number and when that's the case that's probably a good indication that you should start considering reprocessing first and then selling the minerals if you're just doing it purely for profit um, than the other way around. So, so that's one way to look at it. And also note that you took something that's 5,000 cubic meters and by reprocessing it, you're turning into it into a thousand, give or take, right? So imagine if we got 50% just to use easy math, if we were able to get up to 75% and we got half as much more, we got like 150% of the yield this would be somewhere in the 700,000 plus isk range and we would end up having 1500 cubic meters, right? So 1500 cubic meters is a lot better than 5,000. 
just as far as shipping things around. But so if I reprocess here, I'm going to immediately have a thousand based on what we've got in my skills. I'm immediately going to have a thousand cubic meters of minerals that I'm going to have to transport somehow, right? So that's one option is I can reprocess it <coughs> and reduce its, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and I can turn it into its base elements, which is these, these minerals, right? So in this case, it's just titanium. So this makes it a lot easier to carry around and I can fill a shipping ship. There was the, I saw this image online where it was a picture of a shipping ship and it had ships on it and it was like, this is a shipping ship, shipping, shipping ships. Anyway, um, if I want, if I'm in a shipping, like in, a, in an industry or a cargo ship, and I want to just take all of my stuff to sell it, this is one way to move more in a smaller amount of space, is to move the actual minerals themselves. But uh, let's remember this 652 number, and we can do something called compressing the ore. You cannot compress minerals. Keep this in mind, this is important. But you can compress ore. Now, ore compresses at a different rate, um, and if you look it up online, you can find it on uh, Eve University, and <clears throat> it'll show you just how each ore compresses differently. But to do this, 652 is how much it's worth now in this state, right? That you're going to get this amount of minerals out of, I mean, literally 652. Keep that number in mind. So if we compress it, we took 5,000 cubic meters, compressed it down to 75 cubic meters, and instead of 652, it's now worth 742, right? So we increased this by a sixth or a little bit more, maybe like probably 16 to 18% in value just by compressing it. So. This is an important lesson. And then if I went over here and I decided to reprocess this, I get the exact same thing out of it, right? So as far as I'm concerned, there's no reason not to compress your ore. And then this, I can literally just, well, maybe not. My cargo in this is pretty small, but regardless, Transporting ore around while it's compressed is worth, it's far, far easier. And that's why it's actually worth more, right? So somebody can buy compressed ore at whatever market or wherever you sell it and move it to wherever they're going to refine it. And it'll be much easier for them to transport. They'll have a lot better sort of efficient use of their cargo space with compressed ore. So 652 to 742 and you get the same minerals out of it. So these are the two takeaways here. One, you can increase the value of your ore merely by compressing it. Two, if you want to refine to use versus sell and then buy the minerals you need, compare this number to this number, right? So the 742,000 ISK that you could get by selling the ore versus this, which you would get for selling the minerals, 481, you could literally, you could almost buy twice as many minerals if you sold this than if you refined it. Okay, so, so this doesn't get into the question of whether you should refine for yourself or not, and maybe you're mining to make stuff for yourself and you don't want to worry about all this. That's that's a fair choice and that's up to you. So if this trade-off is fine for you until you get your reprocessing skills higher, that's fine, right? I mean, this is, this is a game. You play it however you, you feel like. Um, <clears throat> but this would tell me that it's, not, it's worth it to me to sell this and buy this than it is to reprocess this and use this, right? So, so this, is what I'm, this is my takeaway. Your takeaway may be different. Um, another way to think about it is... Uh, if we look at the skills, there is scrap metal reprocessing or scrap metal processing. A lot of times what I will do is, even though all the loot is not worth very much from running missions or doing uh, PVE, I don't know, combat anomalies and things like that, I'll collect all of it anyway. And then I will just come in and reprocess it into minerals and I'll use those minerals to make more ammo and so on and so forth. So. 
<clears throat> but this isn't about that. This is about mining. So let's 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 those those are your two takeaways. One, compress your ore. Figure out where near you near where you mine, you can compress your ore, and usually it's going to be player stations. I think it, almost exclusively it's going to be at player stations. And if you have a better understanding than I do of which stations can be used for which functions, some of them will be rigged or equipped to increase your your reprocessing efficiency. Some of them, and usually the, the same ones, will also have a compression functionality built into it. Um, but there's no, as far as I'm aware, there's no way to just search in nearby systems and have it tell you which player stations offer these services. Um, if you want, or if you happen to be mining around a Rourke or a Rorkwell, they have the ability to compress ore like out in space, but they'll need to, there's a whole process that they need to go through in order to do that. So if you're mining with people who are using a Rourke, you may be able to compress your ore, drop it back in your ore hold, mine some more, do the same thing until your ore hold is almost filled with compressed ore. Then you can go drop it off. So, so that's this video. Next video, I want to talk about how to speed up the process and your overall income rate from mining. Um, again, take all of this with a grain of salt. I am not a professional miner. I don't do this as my main source of income. I do it just to kind of uh, as an ancillary support income. Um, but if you think you've got a better way of doing it, by all means, share in the comments and I will learn and so too, hopefully will everybody else and we can all get better from there. So thanks for watching. Hit me up in the comments with whatever questions or comments you have, and I'll see you in the next video.